What's going on, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Texas Street Stories. And if you haven't already, you haven't already subscribed, help your boy out and hit the subscribe button. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about La Hermandad de los Pistoleros Latinos or the Hermanos Pistoleros Latinos, HPO, and their incidents or war with the Texas Syndicate. This this happened in two different occasions at two different units, just a month apart from each other. The Pistoleros are predominantly at the time were from Laredo that time when they first came to fruit. Down the road, in order for them to start getting bigger, they started recruiting from other cities. So on this isn't it took place 2000, I think March at the Coffield unit involving an inmate named Antonio Lara. 28 out of Webb, Webb County and Rolando Rios in 41 Antonio Laura is a documented pistolero Rios the documented Texas Syndicate they're both housed at the administrative segregation at the Cofield. Lara uses his toothpaste and dental floss to saw the bottom pieces of his bars, I guess under his cell, under his bunk. He went under his bunk, laid there, saw, saw, started sawing with the dental floss and toothpaste or some kind of abrasive that they're saying and he was able to crawl himself out during the time Reels was being handcuffed and escorted either to a shower or he was being escorted somewhere. So he was able to saw the bars from under his cell, from under his bunk, crawled out, stabbed the dude 30 times. He died at the scene. Wasn't going to survive that. He was handcuffed. He wasn't. He couldn't really block it off. The guards left him there. Once the attack happened. The guards left. Left him for dead. A month later. At the Telford unit. You know back then. You could write each other. I think they stopped it in 2002 to where inmates couldn't write each other no more. So communication was there. There was no cell phones back then. Texas, it takes about three to six days for you to get your mail in state after they review it and everything, you know, a couple of days you'll get your mail. So in April of 2000 at the Telford unit, a known Texas syndicate snitch tries to warn the administration system that there's going to be a hit put out on the leader of the HPO unit named Oscar Ramirez. The administration doesn't take it seriously. So Oscar Ramirez loses his life after the Texas Syndicate informant told the administration that the hit was coming. They didn't do nothing to prevent it. They let it happen. And the dude lost his life. The dude 
at the Coldfield unit that snuck his way out from the cell. He had a 15 year sentence. He already been down since 96. His original sentence was for aggravated robbery. He had a 15 year sentence. He already had four done, so if you think about it, he would have probably been home if he would have did day by day, maybe 2010, 2011. But since he put in work for his organization, he picked up another 35. Picked up another 35 that he's still doing to this day. So all the young dudes out there, when you hit this Texas prisons, it ain't no joke. You know, if you can stay out of it, stay out of it. You know, people lose their life over these organizations. Not only the life, but they lose more time or their freedom. He could have been home, but he decided to put work for his organization. And this is just one story of their wars. There's plenty more. Uh, I'm working on those stories right now. So just a quick little story about the HPL and the Texas Syndicate. Thank you for tuning in. And if you haven't already subscribed, help your boy out and hit the subscribe button.